Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks, and I will be your lovely lab-coated lecturing Let's Player for today. So, um, a little while ago, somebody, uh, my good friend Raps, said to me, uh, Sparks, if you put a block on top of a hopper that contains a storage space, uh, his example is a furnace, since it's quite a cheap one to make, um, it reduces lag. Uh, and I was like, wow, okay, how? And he said, well, basically, if there's a block above, um, if there's a storage block above a hopper, it will stop trying to detect whether there is a block, uh, like a, an item to be picked up, and that reduces lag. And I was like, ah, oh, well, that sounds feasible. Um, yeah, so I started using it, uh, and I put it into some of my designs to reduce lag, and I figured, you know, if it doesn't work, it, there's no harm in putting a block on top. Uh, and then, recently, Red Nomster started doing it, and told a friend of his that, um, that I had told him that it, it helped, and suddenly I was thinking, I don't actually know. So today we're going to test it, we're going to try and conclusively prove whether putting hopper, putting uh, blocks on top of uh, hoppers reduces lag. So I've got a little experiment here. Over on this side, I've got a couple of things, uh, and what we're basically doing here is, if I just get rid of this hopper a second, um, if I press this button, it's going to summon uh, an item just above the hopper, and the, the hopper will pick it up, and the lights, lights will turn on. So the hopper is definitely picking that item up, um, and we'll put the hopper back on top. Now the idea here is that if it's no longer detecting uh, items to be picked up, it won't pick them up. So if I press the button again with a hopper on top, which has a storage slot, you'll see that the, the stone just bounces out. So that seems to be correct, and uh, what I've found so far appears to be that all of the things on this side here, so hoppers, droppers, furnaces, um, dispensers, interestingly, if you have a uh, storage minecart on top, it uh, stops it picking it up. As soon as I break it, it uh, picks it up. And uh, also, basically anything with an inventory, it seems. I didn't try horses, it probably won't work. And over on this side, we have a couple of other blocks. Um, so we already know that if there's air above, it does pick it up. So all of these, some of these are things I thought might be a little dubious, might pick things up. All of them, as you can see, were picked up by the hopper. So we've got an ender chest, an anvil, a jukebox, some glass, some stone, and a half slab. Um, so th they're definitely not being picked up if there is a block on top with an inventory slot. So some of the Minecraft physics and game code is changing uh, when you put a block on top. So that's good, at least something's happening, we know that. Uh, now I'm going to set up a little experiment uh, to try and work out how much lag is caused by hoppers before and after blocks are placed on top of them. Okay, so here we are, we're currently on one of my multiplayer servers. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is that in the bottom right you can see that I've put the server status, the CPU usage and RAM usage of the server, so we can see what's going on. Um, this is a uh, Fragnet server running one gigabyte, it's pretty much the smallest server I have, so I thought it would be the best for seeing w changes in, in uh, CPU. So we're now going to summon 27,000 hoppers, that's uh, 30 by 30 by 30, and all of the hoppers are going to have an air block above them. So if you look at the CPU and the RAM and also my frame rate in the top right, you can see that we get a massive frame rate drop and the CPU jumps up to 100%. And after a little while, uh, my frames level out at 30, which is what I it's locks to when I'm recording. Uh, our CPU is now at 93% or thereabouts, which is pretty crazy. So the question is, if we put furnaces on top of all of these, what happens? And I was astonished because I... I failed this recording, that's why I already know what happens, but I was going to do it blind, but uh, if I summon all those furnaces again, we get a frame rate drop as all the items drop, but then, if you look at the CPU, it drops to 15%. That's crazy. That is a, a huge drop, well, we're kind of up to 35 now, but it's sort of, it's a lot lower, um, considering that, uh, like, tile entities like furnaces cause more lag than regular blocks, as far as I'm aware, um, that's... That's fantastic. Now, obviously, you're not going to have 37,000 hoppers, but it's sort of a, a way of exaggerating the uh, lag caused so that you can better see the difference. So uh, if I get rid of those furnaces again, we should see that the, the frame rate rises horribly. Sorry, the frame rate drops and uh, the CPU will rise quite drastically. So just as a tester, I'm going to summon some ordinary blocks uh, on top as well uh, so we can see what that does. 
All right, let's try it again. We're going to use uh, purple wool this time. So let's start off by summoning our hoppers. So, oh my goodness, that brings us up to 87, 91% RAM. So pretty much the same as we had before. And if we bring in our purple wool, uh, we should see that there really isn't any difference after the initial uh, frame drop, which is going to end soon. There we go. So we're still at 100% CPU. So in conclusion, furnaces or other um, devices that contain inventories have a very, very good effect on hoppers. Like if you don't need a hopper to pick an item up, uh, if you're just using it to transport items or using it as a clock, putting a furnace on top will reduce uh, will reduce lag uh, and strain on a server. Obviously, generally, if you're using one hopper, it's fine. It's not going to make any difference. But if you're just trying to get rid of lag wherever you can, um, this is definitely something worth considering. So thank you very much for watching. I hope people find this useful. Uh, I hope people agree that I've, I've tested this thoroughly. And uh, I'll talk to you all uh, in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.